but if I had to pinpoint it, say like fuzzed out 90s influence and then put a brick rock, brick rock in there. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's just rock and roll. It's a fancy way of saying rock and roll. Guitars, bass, drums. I got shot That is really oversaturated in New York, which is something that a lot of people don't really understand because there's like the fantasy of like New York City rock music. Uh, but there's like, I think, a lot more bands than, especially here in Brooklyn, there's like a lot more bands than music fans, you know, because everyone who's a music fan is also a musician. uplifting EP, the first one. This was like written during the summer, just all about new beginnings, moving to New York, starting bands, falling in love, the first like heartbreak too. Uh, and then the second album was much darker because it was written in the fall time, winter time, and I was going through a lot of like emotional things. Uh, <clears throat> not just with like relationships, but just following my art, you know, and you know, really forcing myself to sit down and write these songs because it was something that I needed to do needed to get it off my chest. So it was a, it was a dark process, um, but at the same time, it's always nice to like, when I wrote a song, to take it to the band and like, give it new life. There was this uh, Ugly Kijo song. I don't know if you remember that band. They were like really big in the 90s. They had like one heat. And um, there's like a bass slap solo. And it just blew my mind. And I was like, what's that? And he was like, that's the bass. I was like, that's what I'm going to play. You said yourself Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're